Sport in Australia, it's a part of our national psyche. It's really the pinnacle of fairness as sportsmanship and sports betting is ruining it. On a hot Saturday afternoon in Darwin, James Poppleton has more than one reason to perspire. I think punters, when they find out, will be angry. Aussie punters think they're getting a fair go. They're getting a fair game, a fair bet, and it's not. He's speaking out about his former employer, one of the largest gambling companies in the world. I'm speaking out about Bet365 because the information I know is a burden on my conscience. Bet365 is a privately owned UK-based company with a global turnover of over $5 billion. We are everywhere. And we see everything. Last year, they spent more than $35 million on advertising in Australia. And they're an official gold partner of Cricket Australia. Australia are red-hot favourites at $1.25 to win. Spruiking the betting odds for Bet365 has become part of the pay TV cricket coverage. That is gloriously fine. James worked as a customer account supervisor for Bet365. He claims the bookmaker has a set of secret tactics that target winning punters. They punish people who win and they exploit people who lose. The most lucrative area of global sports betting is in play betting. That's where you bet on certain events happening as a game unfolds. In Australia, you can only bet in play over the phone. 730's obtained a series of documents from inside Bet365, which reveal the secret strategies it uses to make it harder for punters to win in play, including a policy designed to deal with what it calls problem customers. So a problem customer is one that's essentially winning against us live in play. We would listen to their calls, find out what markets they were betting on and figure out what their strategy was and then essentially make up rules to slow them down or stop them from betting on those markets. Bet365 says the measures are for people who seek to gain an unfair advantage. In play betting, particularly in fast moving sports, is all about speed. Seconds may not seem like much, but when it comes to elite athletes, microseconds can count. James claims that when he was at Bet365, there was a delay of one to three seconds on fast moving sports, from the moment when a bet was submitted to the moment that bet was accepted. So the bookie can back out of the bet, but the customer can't. 7.30 has learned that in 2017, Bet365 conducted testing on its in-play phone betting for delays. The company says it was to reduce naturally occurring delays for customers. James had his suspicions it was for something else. I asked one of the managers if the purpose of the testing was to see whether or not you could tell if there was a delay at the point of bet placement within the Telebet software. And he said yes. Bet365 says it has never used any form of delay in its telephone in-play betting service in Australia. 730 has obtained evidence that Bet365 added delays to online accounts betting in-play from overseas. And also in Australia, back when you could still bet in-play online. Putting a delay into people's accounts or into individual sports and not informing the punter is cheating. The sports betting regulator says he hasn't had complaints about delays. There was some deliberate action taken to delay um, someone putting on a bet and acceptance of the bet. That's something we would have jurisdiction to look at. Daniel Laidlaw is a punter who understands odds better than most. He's a professional poker player who bets on sports as a hobby. Daniel says he's been effectively banned by the betting agencies licensed in Australia, including Bet365. When I tried to place my usual size bets, um, it was apparent that I could only bet to win an amount in the range of $5 to $10, when like previously I'd be able to bet to win amounts between $1,000 and $5,000. He suspects it's because he's too successful. Daniel is trying to find answers. 365 
queries relating to betting or offers, please press 1. I'd like to get an update on the status of my account, please. Why have I been restricted? Daniel is put on hold. 7.30 has obtained a copy of Daniel's account information from inside Bet365. It includes a four-digit number, what's called a risk rating. It says your risk rating and it says 0 0.0025. Now I'm told standard is 0 0.25, so this shows that you're at their highest risk rating. It would be nice to know more about the details of, uh, of how they determine what a customer's risk profile is. Using his personal betting data, the bookmaker has created a secret code that restricts the size of bets he can make. The practice of restricting successful punters does not appear to break any rules. Look, essentially it's a contractual matter between a client and a um, sports bookmaker. And it's a bit the same as if I go into a shop and the shopkeeper decides they don't want to serve me, they can decide not to do that. The lack of transparency is, is what I have the biggest issue with. Like, if, if you're not allowed to win, and you're going to be restricted if you are winning, at least tell people that. Former Bet365 employee James Poppleton says the algorithm could be used to prevent problem gamblers losing too much, but he claims it's not. When you first start your account, it's a blank slate. They give you a risk rating. And then depending on your profitability to the company, how much you win or lose, determines through an algorithm how much they'll um, allow you to bet. They could easily reduce harms by using the data they have. Bet365 said its policies ensure that gambling behaviour is within responsible limits. James had an acrimonious relationship with Bet365 before he left and is worried about the cost of speaking out. They'll either deny it and say I'm lying or that I'm a disgruntled employee. He says two disputes with management before he left the company were resolved, but he began to question the culture of Bet365. James says he's ashamed about his time working for Bet365, but he hopes speaking out will help shed light on the secretive world of sports betting. Well, Australians have an innate sense of fairness almost built in and what the bookies do, what Bet365 does, is not fair. The ABC is launching a bigger investigation into what's happening behind the scenes of Australia's gambling industry, and we need your help. If you've worked inside the industry or you've lost big, we'd like to hear from you. Get in touch by going to abc.net.au forward slash investigations and follow the prompt. And for more on this story, you can download the latest episode of the ABC's background briefing from wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.